Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I know many of you traveled from all over the world and from all over Europe to be with us here today. So I would like to thank you and welcome you warmly to Toyota. Regarding our European sales results in 2016, you received our press release in January. It is on our media website, so you know that we are very pleased with our progress. Toyota Motor Europe outperformed the market last year, selling more than 928,000 units, a 6% increase over the previous year. And we are set to grow even more in 2017, as our January and February sales results prove. More and more, we are differentiating ourselves in the European market with our wide hybrid model range. Our hybrid sales increased by more than 40% last year and now represents one-third of our sales in Europe. Actually, official statistics show that Toyota and Lexus hybrids are the main contributors to increase of alternative powertrains in Europe. You know that Toyota is not going to grow for growth at any cost. It must be profitable and sustainable. And it is. In the first nine months of our fiscal year, our operating profit in Europe increased by 18% from 378 million euro to 446 million euro. Toyota has exciting times ahead, not only because of new products, but also for the important initiatives linked to our company philosophy of contributing to global society beyond producing and selling quality cars. Think of our partnership with the Olympics and Paralympic Games, for example. It's not a traditional sponsorship, and we are not doing this for commercial purposes. Instead, we want to embrace the true Olympic values within our company. Values such as individual collective effort, fair play, stretching ourselves beyond current capabilities, and healthy competition. Because only through these values can we improve who we are as people and as a company. As the exclusive mobility provider of the Olympics and Paralympic Games for the next eight years until 2024, we will showcase clean and efficient mobility solutions like the hydrogen-powered Mirai, which supports both the Olympic theme of sustainability and our roadmap to with zero emissions as committed in Toyota's Environmental Challenge 2050. We will also contribute with various advanced intelligent transport systems for urban traffic, including vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communications. In other words, it's Toyota's way of giving back to society. But ladies and gentlemen, you will not have to wait for the Olympics to see the future. The first product I'm going to introduce to you is the concept of a new type of electric and automated vehicle. A vehicle that takes a different look at how we move around in towns and cities, that anticipates the future mobility needs of society and the modern generation. It's smart, elegant, and great fun to drive. Ladies and gentlemen, the revolutionary three-seater iTrol. You came down for satisfaction For having fun, there ain't no price to pay For ITRO, we went to the south of France, to Nice, where we have ED Square, our European design center. We asked our designers and engineers to get out of their offices and go and observe our target younger audience, and then to be ready to answer, what will future generations expect from us? The team worked hard, met, discussed, and challenged each other. And this is the answer. Let me invite on stage Pierre Romanio, the ITROL chief designer from ED Square. Hi, Pierre. Hi. Hi, Johan. 
This looks like a great vehicle. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about it. What does the future have in store for, for us? Thanks, Johan. In a world, I think the future is all about variety. Allowing mobility to become more specific to what people really want rather than just a general one size fits all. If you're living in the city, commuting, running the kids to school, or but if you, you still have a bit of fun, then you, this, this is the answer for you. Oh, I, I understand. Tell us a bit more. Is this really a three-seater even for, for grown-ups? I, I just can't believe it. Yes, well, uh, absolutely. This is basically a one plus two concept with the driver up to front and the two rear seats offset either side. Plenty of leg space for the everyone and completely open panoramic view for what dedicated to the driver. It has an electric power engine good for more than 200 kilometers, range in, in, sorry, range in real life, and it's ready for autonomous era. The whole interior is designed to create a welcoming, fun and relaxed space for all the passengers. Uh, what is it like to drive? I see it, it, it leans in the curves. Have you learned from the iRoad uh, concept? Yes, vehicle? absolutely. We're building on the experience of the iRoads, where even at the low speed, you can get a really exciting and a completely new driving experience from the leaning. In a word, it's fun anytime and anywhere. Okay, Pierre, thank you very much. And once again, congratulations with your new concept. Thank you. <laughs> So it's clean and sustainable, compact and dynamic, cool, agile and fun. ITRL brings to life Toyota's vision of future urban mobility in Europe. But now to the existing present. At the Paris Motor Show just a few months ago, Akio Toyota, our president, announced we were stepping up our activities in motorsport, not only to promote our brand, but also to improve our internal skills and products. Since January this year, Toyota re-entered World Rally Championship with two very special Yaris rally cars. The Yaris WRC is born in our French factory, but grown, uh, developed in Finland, by the Toyota Gazoo racing team, led by Tommy Makinen. Following its outstanding performance in both Monte Carlo and Sweden, the Yaris WRC has well taken its first steps and is ready to face the remaining 11 challenges ahead. Through motorsports, we're committed to creating ever better cars for our customers on the road. Better to drive, better to own, and better suited to our challenging and changing world. In this context, let me introduce our latest product for Europe, the 2017 Yaris Ya Just Behind Me, with much improved interior sensory quality and refinement. ED Square designed it with Europe's specific flavor, while our European research and development engineers spiced up its driving dynamics. The all-new STEC 1.5-liter petrol engine is capable to switch from the Otto to the Atkinson cycle and vice versa in a fraction of a second, delivering impressive torque and acceleration alongside outstanding fuel economy. And of course, we always pursue the democratization of safety for our drivers, passengers, and all road users with a standardization of the acclaimed Toyota Safety Sense package, which includes, among others, an advanced pre collusion system with, of course, automatic emergency brake assist. The model that you see here on stage is the hybrid version, and that's not coincidental. It's already been 20 years of Toyota and hybrid. We just reached our 10 millionth hybrid sale globally. In the B segment, we are still one the only one that offers hybrid. Yet, Yaris Hybrid is the public's favorite choice, accounting for 40% of all hybrid uh, Yaris sales in Europe. 
Yaris is an important contributor to our overall hybrid sales mix of 32%, putting us firmly on track towards our global 50% of sales mix target by 2020. Thanks to our proactive European life cycle management, innovation, technological upgrades, redesign, and hybrid powertrain strategy, this third generation hybrid has been gaining segment share, keeping our existing customers satisfied and loyal, and attracting the hearts of many Conquest customers. The car is a winner on the track and for our customers. Now, ladies and gentlemen, before closing, we have one more surprise in store for you. Our customers and dealers, and even many of the journalists present here today, have been asking us, when will Toyota come back with a great hot hatch? How to share a bit more of the super exciting WRC experience? How to make racing more accessible? Today, it's my great pleasure to provide you the answer. Ladies and gentlemen, the Yaris GRMN. <laughs> This car makes my heart rate go wild. Ladies and gentlemen, let me thank uh, Takara-san, our chief engineer for such an emotional uh, Yaris. Takara-san. <laughs> With such a rigid body, it's retuned suspension, it enhanced braking system, streamlined aerodynamics, and sporting interior, this super exciting Yaris takes our rally car credentials and put them on the road. It's a supercharged 1.8 liter petrol engine and it produces more than 210 horsepower. That means it can hit 100 kilometers per hour in a fraction over six seconds. The best acceleration in time, in class. And, I, and believe it or not, it will be produced in Europe in TMMF, in Valencia, and export outside of Europe. Now, we know the hot hatch segment in Europe is quite small, but this car is for those enthusiasts who look for unique driving excitement, and we call it Wakudoki. It will be an exclusive product produced in a very limited series, making it even more special. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is only the beginning. But believe me, it is the beginning of a very exciting journey. Thank you very much for being with us today. Let me now ask Pierre and also Tadasan to join us on stage for a photo or two. Thank you very much for your attendance this afternoon. Thank you.